So reduce also returns something new, but it is adaptive to whatever you need. Unlike map and for each, sorry, not for each, for each will return and defined. Unlike map and filter and find and all that stuff, it will not return, or map and filter will return an array, but find, find index, all of those things, those will return either the value or the index of, depending on what that is you're trying to do. So reduce will return really anything. Okay. It, it, it'll return whatever you tell it to. So if you want it to return an array, it'll return an array. If you want it to return a number, it'll return a number, a string, a string. So let's practice calling reduce and console.log to check the values as reduce iterates through the array. So um, to start, declare a new value named num sum const new sum. Okay, we're gonna sum um, make a sum of this. So const keyword assign new sum to value of new numbers dot reduce. Um, you will also see a type error, but we'll see that. Okay, that actually makes sense. Yeah, undefined is not a function. Um, Let's just console.log in there. Just throw console.log in there and just see what he, what is happening. Yeah, so undefined is not, that actually, that kind of makes sense. So we have passed in console.log and we're gonna see what's happening in here. So we have one, three, five, seven, okay? One, three, one, one, three, five, seven. And then we've got this undefined, undefined. So this is, this kind of doesn't make sense. It starts with one and then it says undefined here and undefined here, but this says three, five, seven, but it doesn't start with one. This is confusing. It doesn't make sense. Like what really is happening here? Well, we'll, we'll do, have some more fun. Okay. So the first parameter is accumulator and the second value is current value. Accumulator current value. So now we're going to make an arrow function. Okay. And honestly, you just say ack and cur for that. And that's what I do, just um, to shorthand so you don't have really long names. Um, but accumulator and current value. Okay, so we're going to, we want to get the sum of this. So we want to add one plus three plus five plus seven. Okay, so we're going to look through this value of accumulator and the value of current value. And we're going to return accumulator plus current value. Okay, so let's run that. All right, so I'm also, you should always run reduce with an initializer. So your initializer should be zero in this situation. So you add another parameter onto the reduce. So I'm going to get rid of this function real quick. We have added a function in here. And then the second parameter is the starting point. Okay. So now I'm going to put the function back. The accumulator in the first index will be um, zero. Should be zero. Why isn't it zero? Run. Yeah, there we go. Should be zero. Um, so accumulator, and then we're going to look at the current value. So accumulator. Um, is zero and the current value is one. So zero, we have our zero here and our current value is here. Okay. I think if we don't pass in a current value, it'll start with this one. That's your initial thing. I think that's what's going on there. Um, and then the current value is this. So accumulator is zero and your current value is one. And then you return those two added together. So your next one will be zero plus one. And so your accumulator will be one and the current value will be three, which is this guy right here. Okay. So now you add those two together, a current accumulator and current value. So, um, one plus three will be four. So your next accumulator should be four, four. Your current value is five. So you return those added together and next value should be, your next accumulator should be nine because four plus five is nine. So accumulator is nine, current value is seven. So now it'll be nine plus seven. This new sum should be equal to 16. 
console.log new sum. Let's take a look at this. 16. Great. I'm curious if we get rid of that, what happens? It's the same thing, but it just removes the first thing. Huh. Add a second argument of 10 to reduce. This is going to make it 26. So it just initializes the first thing. That's actually kind of interesting. I think, um, so what it's doing is if you don't pass in the first value, it assumes the first value thing and it actually starts on the second. That's what's happening here. I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. Huh. Interesting. All right. Well, there's reduce. It's kind of confusing. Um, and it, it, it can, it can be difficult to really understand what's happening. Um, but you can create arrays, you can create objects, you can do all sorts of weird things with the reduce because it just has to be the type, whatever you pass in here. This is an, any, like it could be literally anything. You can pass in anything inside of there and that's what your accumulator will be and you just reassign it and change it as you go. So there you go. Um, iterator documentation. That'll be the next video. I don't know what it is, but that'll be the next video.